My name is Joshua Adigun. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, AG Tech House. I will be showing you how to add another dot on Microsoft.com domain to your Microsoft 365. But before I go ahead, I would like you to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, share my videos with your colleagues, friends, families that you think would need those videos. Turn on the notification button so that you can be notified of every new video I drop. Also, do not forget to hit the comment section and tell me what video you want me to create for you, and then I will do just that. So back to today's session, how to add another dot on Microsoft.com domain. What is even a dot on Microsoft.com domain? This is what we call a fallback domain. So let me quickly show you something from the Microsoft page. So the dot on Microsoft.com domain is what we call your fallback domain. So this is basically created by Microsoft in case you do not own a domain. Microsoft creates this for you so that you can set up your Microsoft 365. While you're setting up your Microsoft 365, you added your custom domain, let's say www.joshuaadigun.com. Microsoft goes ahead to create a fallback domain, which is the dot on Microsoft.com domain for me, which is joshuaadigun.onmicrosoft.com domain. This is created for every Microsoft 365 tenant. You might be wondering why do you need to add a different or another um, dot on Microsoft.com domain. So let's say you, I'm changing my company name from Joshua Adigun, right? Dot com, or the company name is Joshua Adigun Limited, right? I'm changing it to Adigun Joshua Limited. When I do that, I add the new domain to my Microsoft 365. However, I remember that my previous email carries josh at joshuaadigun.com. However, now I've changed from joshuaadigun to adigunjoshua.com. I would need to change my emails to adigunjoshua.com. When I do that, that's pretty easy. My exchange changes. My Microsoft Teams automatically changes my email address. However, if I'm using SharePoint Online or OneDrive for Business, remember the URL will carry something like this. This is it. Let me copy this and paste. So I would have something like this, Joshua Adigun. However, remember that I'm changing from joshuaadigun.com to Adigun Joshua. Joshua adigun.com is the previous domain name so the new domain name now is adigunjoshua.com so this is the previous sharepoint online url the new one would be this so the new one should then be something like this adigun joshua.sharepoint.com so one of the reasons why you definitely need to add the dot on microsoft.com domain is for something like this so now i am changing from joshua adigun to adigun joshua so even if i have added my domain which is adigun joshua to microsoft 365 i have changed my emails my emails are working with adigunjoshua.com. My Teams is working with adigunjoshua.com. However, my SharePoint will still carry joshuaadigun.sharepointonline. So I need to change it to adigunjoshua.sharepointonline. My SharePoint and my OneDrive. I remember that Microsoft 365 services are interconnected. Teams is connected to SharePoint, to Exchange Online, via groups and the likes. So they are interconnected because immediately you change your domain and you change the default domain or let's say josh at adigunjoshua.com, right? My OneDrive for business, my personal OneDrive disconnects. I'll begin to get errors like this. You would see something like this because my OneDrive for business is something like this, right? You begin to see errors like this because my desktop, my pictures and my documents are synced to my OneDrive. So what do I need to do? I would have to add the dot on Microsoft.com to my Microsoft 365. How would I do that? All I need to do is find my way to my Microsoft 365, log in as, as an admin, and then I come to show all, I come to settings, I come to domains, and then I click the default dot on Microsoft.com that comes with the tenant. I click on it. Then under the about this domain, if you look down, you'll see add another Microsoft 
dot or microsoft dot com domain i click on this and then i add my organization name which is adigun joshua and then i click on add domain when i do this this should be added without any stress and then we are good to go so immediately i do this i come back to domains i should see it added here so remember i also need to add my custom domain which is adigun joshua dot com i'll show you how to do that in a later video once again thank you very much for watching my video tutorials please subscribe to my channel like my videos and also hit the comment section and tell me what video you like me to create for you thank you very much cheers bye bye